Back. It's time for the Corsair Summer Tour. Mike's not in. It's not in? It is in. Are you sure I'm not muted? Yeah. Oh, dang. Can you hear me, Kawa? I can. Let's try this again. Am I in now? No. Someone fucked this up? Yeah. Great. That's not good. Hello? No. Are you sure it's not on the board? Yep. Alright, because this is already plugged in. Let's let's uh let's cue the intro again. That was pretty bad. <laughs> cue the intro again, Jarrett. Are you serious? Yeah, do the vods. <laughs> Well, we're back. We thought you guys thought we were done for the day. You were wrong. Now the Corsair Summer Tour 2013 continues. We have a game two and possibly a game three of the upcoming series, followed by another best of three coming your way. It's going to be Denial Esports versus 4FC. We'll hop into the draft. The game well underway. Sorry we missed the earlier stages of the draft, but we'll at least catch the tail moment, the tail end of it. 4FC are leading this best of three one to nothing. If they win this game, they will advance to the loser bracket finals of Group C for the Corsair Summer Tour 2013. Corsair are doing a giveaway. If you want free Dota TV tickets, head over to gc.corsair.com. You have a chance to win those. And also support the tournament. Uh, makes a big difference. They are tracking how many people watch. And if a lot of you guys sign up for the tickets, they'll be very pleased. So 4FC, they need one win here. Denial Esports, formerly Arctic Gaming, it's the Peruvians versus the Swedes, and as the draft's about to conclude, I'll introduce Merlini, who hasn't gotten a word in yet. Hello. I'm LD. He's Merlini. How you doing? You won't ever let me get a word in. Bop, Can I adjust bop, my camera? Bop. Uh, uh, okay, so we have Denial Esports, a first pick treatment protector versus four friends plus Krillilili, and they don't actually have a particularly exciting draft. Enigma's kind of cool, but I don't think he deserves like this early of a pick. I think they could have gotten away with Alchemist, but still a decent draft overall. I don't know. Not I'm just reading the chat right now. I'm going to see how hard Kawa flames me. Kunkka's pretty good, but I think a lot of times he needs setup for his torrent. Jakiro, not the best setup. Naga Siren is okay. I would prefer a Shadow Demon uh, over a Jakiro, but they do need AoE. And AoE they will have with Kunkka, Tidebringer. They have Jakiro. They have Queen of Pain. Pretty good versus four friends plus Krilly's lineup. But they don't really have an answer to the Bat Rider. Unless they will, like have Naga to song of the Siren, so yeah, you can may yeah you can maybe song if the Naga doesn't get caught. Perhaps you can X him and tort him in position, yeah. prevent him from pulling anyone away. But Denial uh, Esports better uh, better team fight, but not as good initiation as 4FC. Yeah, maybe song could be the initiation, but mm. it's not something that really. They pulls got a lot of BKB heroes. Yeah, they do. The Bat Rider, the Luna. On that note, we'll introduce the teams very quickly, guys. Remember. We're hopping into this in game two. Game one went to 4FC, so they lead 1-0. If they win this game, they'll take the best of three, and they'll move on to play Evil Geniuses. Dignitas, the first team to advance out of Group C. They will enter the eight-team double elimination playoffs for this $10,000 tournament as the one seed for Group C. As for EG, they'll fight the winner of this. The winner of that match will advance as well. We'll introduce the teams now. 4FC on the radiant side, 6-1. 61-16 is going to be your Luna. Thanks for that name, buddy. Strangby on the Rubik. Boomski on the Enigma. Blomberg on the Alchemist. And then your offlaner will be Krilly, not playing carry anymore. Interesting mountain he's got here. A Salamander, it Whoa. seems. New cosmetics. Whoa. Yeah. New cosmetics Bessie are Bessie the fun. Bat Million. Uh, on the other side, we have Denial Esports. Of course, they hail from Peru. Masuku, the Tran Protector. Misko playing the, the Twin-Headed Dragon, the Jakiro Smash. Your Naga Siren. I wanted to see his Templar Assassin. We won't get it this game. Nova, the Queen of Pain, and Prodigious 13, a prodigious name for him. 
he'll be handling your Kunkka. So Naga Siren is going to be solo mid for Denial. He has three branches and Smash is their solo mid player. He should fare pretty well versus Alchemist. Alchemist has almost no armor, but most likely just be a farm wars unless Bat Rider does decide to rotate. Speaking of Bat Rider, he's also going to be uh, solo versus Kunkka maybe? I, that's a very strange. Safe lane Kunkka, safe, safe lane Kunkka solo. I don't think this I've seen that one. This is not going to be a good matchup for the Bat Rider. Uh, I mean, you can spam Tidebringer and just to some extent prevent him from tower diving you with creeps, but you're going to get out last hit for the most part. You're going to get out harassed. He has not started with a a magic stick either, so that poses a bit of a concern for Prodigious 13. And off the bat, back going to pull the creep wave back to his tower with illusions. He'll be able to last hit under tower or even at his own wave. Just worried about a defensive trialing perhaps, but looks like there won't be a defensive trialing, so Krilly doesn't anticipate that, it there. And I think that the Kunkka actually anticipated that the bat would be middle and Enigma would be off lane with the triple lane on bottom lane, but predicting it wrong, I guess it doesn't really hurt him that much. So he already has 200 gold in case he does decide to pick that magic stick up. Four friends plus Krilly, or Krilly rather, picked up his illusion rune. Doing pretty good, but this is a little bit unnecessary pulling the crease back to your tower, especially with yeah, he, six heroes being Basically, bottom. both players anticipated wrong, so they somewhat negated each other there. Now the magic stick can come out for the Kunkka, and he should be at ship shape. At the bottom lane, just ha, a loon. I see what you did there. <laughs> Tango through for Miss Koho. Look for a dual breath. No ice path picked up. A little bit more damage and chasing power, and they're probably getting your first blood. 61 Where 16 is the support? To fall. The support was busy Rain trying to de ward. It looks like two sentry wards placed. And he failed that big time. Observer Ward is here and is blocking the pull. Yeah, that that sentry ward nerf is just so brutal. Oh my goodness. Uh, using two sentries and not being able to pull, that hurts your Enigma a lot as well as the Rubik and the Luna. So that hurts three heroes really. A lot of people think it only help, uh, screws over the supports, but Luna gave me a first blood there because Rubik was preoccupied. Not going, Things aren't going too well for Forest in this early game. Yeah, they won game one, so obviously they're capable of beating Denial Esports. I still think their mid games uh, are really hard to deal with, because like you talked about, there's a lot of BKB heroes, there's a lot of heroes that just have great initiation. Shadowblade Alchemist, if Blomberg wants to go for that, Batrider with a Blink Dagger. Even Enigma is not bad with Malefus, Lucent Beam. They've got long range, they've got long reach, they've got pretty good team fight, and we'll have to see if Denial can capitalize on a decent start. Actually, the mid lane, the Alchemist is beating. Uh, this Queen of Pain, or sorry, Queen of Pain's bottom, but is beating the uh, the Naga mid. I would actually give Naga a slight edge. Uh, sorry, it's pretty even, but yeah, he, he has he a haste in the, the bottle, and he did not go for Greedle's Greed. I would actually put up, pick up one level of Greedle's Greed just because he is going to be able to farm a lot. He will be able to come up and right click creeps without fear of exceptional amounts of harass. Kunka started off with a zero two zero build. He actually just skilled up Torrent, but really needs to burn some of that mana. He has ten Magic Stick charges. Yeah, the Tidebringer is essential. He ha he almost has mm. to max it here. I don't even think he can go yeah. X because otherwise, that rider can just dive him with the creep wave. And even Firefly is going to make Living Armor rather useless in this lane. Yep. And I've seen some Kunkas go a four torrent build. Even with a Shadow Demon, is usually not worth it. Tidebringer being the significant source of your damage along with that boat. Oh, I like this rotation from Boomski. He moves to the enemy jungle. Naga, you would love to gank her before she hits level six and. Blomberg with one more stun in this haste room could maybe look for a kill, but right as I say, I like the rotation. He's going to go back into the jungle. Play it safe. Denial still out winning the farm war uh, a bit in the bottom lane for the time being, but all things considered, they're running a safe lane Luna. One and two, yeah, it's bad, but it's only died once, and they're getting a lot elsewhere. The Enigma, the Batrider, the Alchemist all having a good time. So what do you think about this trade-off of putting putting Alchemist mid as opposed to maybe as a support Alchemist. I think he's getting like decent amounts of farm, but... They're trading him for a Naga, so I think it's fine. Mm. Cause Naga's but but at the, on the same time, their bottom lane is having a really difficult time because there's no support. Thing yet. is, I don't think Alk does anything in this lane either. Because the thing is, it's because of the Enigma. They just have a dual lane. Top lane, though, they've gone in and Prodigious 13. The Malefus is there, and they'll get the kill. Nice rotation from Krilly. As soon as they see the two there, they know Enigma's not in the Radiant Jungle, and Denial wants to get aggressive bottom. Good recognition from them, but a better response for 4FC. Very defensive. Blomberg hasted. Oh, he'll throw out a stun. He'll take the invis as well. Gotta love those haste runes. If you time it right, you basically get two runes for the price of one. And there's a very good Observer Ward here by 4FC, even though they weren't able to deward. Good use of the Observer Wards. Scouting out most of the denial heroes. Luna is, I think she's going to have a really, really difficult time. She has not fared well in most of the games that I've seen her picked up in. The thing is, Luna's landing stage is just, she's so bad in tri-lane versus tri-lane. 
Yeah, I think it's okay if you have three ranged heroes and you can really just right click people down and make use of that Lunar Blessing, but her defensive abilities are severely lacking. Top lane, Prodigious. And yeah, Prodigious 13, once again, getting feasted upon. The safe lane Kunga against an offensive jungle, Enigma, and a bat. 4FC have really identified the weakness of Denial's draft mm -hmm. here. Sure, they have an Enigma, so their bottom lane is pretty crappy and Dyer's unable to get much out of it, but attack. if they keep on killing Kunkka, they can also push the tower early. Krilly's going to have a fast blink dagger at the rate he's going, and with Alchemist doing okay mid, he can build your mech. Their mid game's still very Dyer's strong, and that's where Luna can catch attack. up and you know just go for the cheap <laughs> items, the treads, the drums. Uh, so I think for 4FC, I actually give them a bit of an edge overall mm -hmm. at this stage. I would like to see a lane change out from Denial. Perhaps rotate the Quap. String become a man or a bit of harass here. Rotate the Quap for the Kunkka. Just because I don't think Kunkka is going to be able to stay up in the lane anymore. And it probably should have happened earlier just because, again, tor Torrent is just way too difficult to hit in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Especially when you don't have the hill up in the middle. And Kunkka is probably even more behind than the Luna at this point. Yeah, Boomski's already level 6. He's got access to Black Hole. Maybe could go for a gank here. He's going to have a Malefist pretty soon. Uh, still 30 mana away. I guess he won't be able to get another kill without going to base unless the Courier brings him something. Uh, no lane rotations, though, Merlin. They're happy just dominating this tri lane. The Queen of Pain is farming very well. Uh, I miss, I miss incorrectly said that it was a Queen of Pain mid earlier, but yeah, it's, a, it's an offensive tri lane Queen of Pain. Now Smash going for a rune top. He'll get stunned here. Batrider, Lasso pulling down in three seconds time. Smash might be forced to use it. He doesn't want to, but he's going to have to pop it now. There's your song. They'll disengage, and now the living armor comes through. Will they look to turn this around? Blomberg could be caught. Ice path to come. It'll only catch one. Actually, just clips Krilly at the very end. A bit slow to cancel the song. Now he's netted up, dropping fairly quickly. Not dead just yet. In comes the stun on the backside. Clips Nova, who looks to blink forward. Krilly, Firefly ends just short of getting up the hill. And he will go down. That song of the Siren and Living Armor, very, very easy to overestimate how easily you can kill Denial Heroes. And I really do like Naga Siren mid. Having that early level of sleep just helps so well. Completely turns around the fight. Looks like Naga's about to die. Turns around, kills one, almost two heroes, and that spell is just unbelievable for setting up. Meanwhile, their forced rotation from two heroes allows Luna a little bit of breathing room, as well as the Kunkka. So both of the one roll positions getting a little bit more farm than they have been in the first six minutes. Yeah, when you when you said Naga almost dying mid, I was like, wait, she's dying mid? <laughs> What's going on with my brain? I don't see her dying, but obviously that just happened. So, Denial, they'll rotate three heroes back to the bottom lane. Nova treads up. Uh, early no Talisman going for Dyer's kind of that snowball build, which could be effective against this very squishy tri lane. There's a Luna with Arena Makila, still no boots. I guess if he gets caught, she's dead regardless, but mm -hmm. just shows you how desperately poor she is. At some point, uh, this is where you want the Enigma or the Batrider to rotate bottom, have TP scrolls ready, and look to turn this tri lane around. They've got Black Hole, they've got Lasso, and you know Song of the Siren is cooling down, so it's the perfect time to be ready to counter gank. There's TP cooling down on Krilly. It is available right now on the Enigma, who's heading top for a gank, but a timely TP, I think that's the key thing. They'll just want to prevent any future dives and punish them if Denial go for it. I think that Nova is a little bit more under level than he should be. These two supports are taking a lot of experience from him, and that level 7 burst from Queen of Pain is just ridiculous. And they could really punish these two weak heroes on bottom lane, Rubik and Luna. Neither of them level 6 yet, in a very, very frail position, but Queen of Pain without the proper levels and without the proper health. She's only at half HP right now, 300. Oh, it looks like Boomski is in a little bit of danger on top lane. Scouting with the Eidolons. Denial are going to abandon their tri lane in the bottom lane. They were shutting down this Luna to some extent. But now, Luna, we'll I mean, Luna, uh, the Nova could die right now if he's not careful. They scouted him out. Uh, they scouted the three heroes out on top lane, so they know he has no backup. If the living armor is a little bit late, he could easily die to the telekinesis and double nuke. If it's not late, though, it's very hard to kill him because there's just not there's not really any damage over time. No way to quickly remove the living armor charges, so it'll help to tank a lot of the incoming damage. Nova getting closer to level six now. He'll have his ultimate soon. And the good thing is now Luna gets some farm. This offensive jungle enigma has really paid off. Killed the Kunkka twice, didn't die, and now has level 7. 700 gold up. I think overall 4 is still in pretty good shape. We can confirm that with the gold graph. 750 gold lead, a 3k experience lead. Well, that's what you expect, Merlini. With these kind of lanes, they should have the edge. Krilly could be caught top, though. Sticky Napalm comes out of Flame Break as well. Could Firefly away. Ice Pass going to catch him. Boat off the mark. Look for the black hole. Catches three. Krilly, Firefly over the top. Stacking the Napalm, now going to lasso one hero in position, the Kunkka it is, but there was just not enough follow-up. In comes the Torrent, Boomski on the run, Flame Break to get the kill. Krilly's still running, he ain't getting away, but the tree hit walks through the flames. While the song happens, throws away his own life, they will lose the Enigma too. 
An un unnecessary death there, but hey, they turn two. Two for two, and the black hole was used. Again, I'm, not, I'm surprised as the Alchemist is not playing greedier. He's had pretty much a free lane in mid just because Naga Center has left the lane a couple of times. He has a lot of CS. He's second in CS shots right now with 45, and he's going for early mech when they have an Enigma on their team. And this is when Luna has poor farm. In this situation, it might be better to say, hey, you, I know Luna's not going to have any items, so I may, I mean, I, I can pick up the slack a little bit, go play a little bit greedier so we have more carry presence past 30 minute mark. Guys, if you're just joining us, it looks like we forgot to update the score indicator, but it is in fact one to nothing. Forfs here leading the best of three. They're one win away from taking this series. Blomberg channeling a stun to steal that haste turn from the Dodger Legion. Nice play by him. Meanwhile, while that's happening, well, dead Luna. Yep. Nice ice trap by Miska. She needs a lane ward. Like, you can't have her mm. sitting in the lane without any vision. Yeah, just an easy blink shadow strike by Nova. Even with a night vision, just not enough reaction time because there is no observer ward. It's still a very scary world out there for the Luna. She has not been getting any support this game. Yeah, 4 C leading one to nothing here. And uh, we'll see Denial Esports back off of the bottom lane for the time being. Smash, still farming pretty well. Haste is up on Blomberg. Like you said, he's not going greedy, and I think he could get away with it. Still, he could have an impact soon. Early mech for this team. Denial, a lot of AoE damage. A little bit light on burst unless Queen of Pain has her ult online. So, they'll be able to get the mech off in most fights and could turn the tides here. Yeah, I think they want to blink on Batrider as soon as possible. That's 300 gold. And because of that, maybe you don't need to blink on the Enigma. You can probably just get away with the BKB and... There are a few spells that will stop him. There is the overgrowth if you manage to hit him and not get hold. Really? Fading a bit here, perhaps. He's got an out coming in. Here comes your boat. Now the stun on two. Krilly able to dodge the boat. Really nice movement from him. Prodigious 13. Taking some big damage. Five stacks of Napalm up. There is no Firefly for seven seconds time. Blomberg hasted. Running north. B Prodigious is going to fall. Now onto Smash. That's two. It could. They could turn three in a second here. No Firefly mana. Masuku dropping fast. One more Smash. The Alchemist brings him down. Great movement from 4FC. And now the score seven to six. 12 minutes in. 4FC leading by over 2k gold, over 3.5k experience, and at long last, they're, in middle lane. They're Luma's, Luna's got some space. Oh, they just ice path. I thought he was about to go on him, but he did not. And again, this Kunkka pick, he's cast ship twice, but it's been outmaneuvered by the Batrider. It's very difficult to set up, even with the Ensnare from the Naga Siren. It's, it's still quite difficult to pull off, especially from the mobile Batrider who can just fly over cliffs. And I really would have liked to see a Shadow Demon or just more, more uh, maybe... When Trent Protector gets his root, he'll be able to hit some nice combos. Yeah, if you have root as well as net, you really should be able to catch someone. Also, they have other synergies. They could use the Naga Sleep to set up those initiations, but I think that's the best one, honestly. You sleep, you throw the boat out, and the Torrent as well, and right when they're about to hit, you end the sleep. They have no way to react to that. You can follow up with a, an Ice Path, a lot of other AoE damage, but we haven't seen Denial achieve the the full power of their lineup, and it's hard for them. Batrider is one of the worst heroes to play against if you're running a five-man lineup, because he's just so good at disrupting your initiation, finding pickoffs, and generally preventing you from grouping his five. Oh, is he going to go for a solo kill? Has Firefly, but that's too close to the tier two. I think a smart play by Krilly to back off there. Yep, and Luna forced to play very defensively, going for that early power trend. Needs as much HP as possible to survive from this burst of denial. But he also really needs BKB. Forest, he really a BKB dependent lineup, especially against this heavy, Indians heavy magical damage output from attack. denial. I like the choice, just getting a Bracer. Every bit of HP, because he had mm. such an awful start, only 3k net worth. Even an Ogre Club is going to be a tough purchase for him to farm up. Stats instead of Lunar Blessing. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> nah. amounts. That I'm not so sold yeah, on. Yeah, he does not have it though. I'm yeah, get your stats from items. <laughs> Lunar Blessing, too good not to level up early. Malefis mid lane, smash. Might be forced to song, he's trying to cast it. Won't use it in the end. Krilly, maybe he could have just gone oh, yeah, for the last one. I'm surprised there. he didn't go for it. I guess he is worried about the counter initiate with the boat. And I mean, I mean honestly, I just feel like you're not going to get a kill, but you just lasso her, you force her to blow some of the siren. Lasso isn't that long of a cooldown. It's only 70 seconds. You compare that to the Naga ult at level one. Three minutes, so you get the Naga on cooldown, and then Ooh, you can your next gank. Look at this stun from downtown. <laughs> I was following it across this. this <laughs> I wanted to talk though, so I just lost. I think it's bigger it. and bigger. Yeah, it, it awesome. basically it, it flies up in the sky. Oh. Now Blomberg gets net in mid. Smash is gonna come in. Ice path to fly. He has not used his ult. The mech is deployed, but I don't think it's gonna matter. The boat comes through. Denial will kill off the enemy alchemist. Now they'll retreat out. Smash a spell stolen from him, and in comes Krilly, looking for trouble. No lasso just yet. 
And I'm curious to see what items Queen of Pain is going to go. I actually think he's going for Yule Scepter first, which is very, very dangerous versus Bet Rider. But they, I mean, it might. Ooh, I hear There's your song. The Torrent could come. Look for the Ice Path. There's no Torrent, actually, not yet. Macro Pyre, Ice Path as well. Wumbo Combo. Down they go. Two to fall. More to follow, perhaps. In comes your Luda. No Eclipse just yet. Now caught. There's creeps here. She'll pop the ult, but not going to be too effective. Now they run back into the Ice Path. Krilly. As well as 61, 16, you're standing, flame breaking them towards himself. Not ideal, but might turn this around. One to fall, smash in trouble. He pops his nukes. Well, there's your Queen of Pain. Too bad Nova wasn't there earlier. But now Blomberg, right back into the meat grinder for this fella. He just wants to be mincemeat. He'll pop his ult, he'll be able to live, but. Merlini, that was without the Kunkka boat, and that was without the Queen of Pain. Imagine yeah. if they had those two. 4FC should not be grouping at all. 4FC needs to get the jump on Denial. First, we saw the Alchemist get picked off here, no support from his teammates, and then two teammates standing over here. They either need a lane ward in middle so they can actually react to Denial's heroes being there, or they need Krilly to make some plays with the Batrider. He had his blink around the 11 minute mark, and it's been four and a half minutes. I haven't seen a lasso since. Yeah, he's 4-3-4. and four. He's been involved in this game, but it hasn't been initiations. It's just been... Yeah, he, dom he dominated his lane, too. Prolonged little scrappy engagements for him, which isn't really ideal. And now for 4th C, uh, they still have, hold all their outer towers. Map control-wise, they have a one-tower advantage. And I still think that they can take this game just by getting the jump on Denial. So if you're 4th C, do you just sit back and farm your BKBs? Is there anything else they should be doing? They should just pick off easy heroes to kill with the Bat Rider and then start to secure farm on the Luna. They need a ward a little bit better, I'd say. On the bottom room, there's been no fights in this area. It's either been down here or in middle. And they need they need to have either a ward in middle or a lane ward for Luna to prevent those deaths on her, get her her BKB, and farm a little bit. Again, this Bat Rider trying to search for kills. He is finally paired up with Strangby, who is level 8 with Spell Steel, with Arcane Boost, and with Torrent. Yeah, for the time being, Torrent is a nice spell for him to have. He can set up that Enigma black hole as well. We'll see if he goes for it for the time being. For In top lane. Enough for the time being, I guess. scared for this Luna's life. Yep. While that's happening, they'll back off top, and in 4FC goes onto the bottom lane. Pressure applied, Misko. Ice path level 3. Should be able to clear this wave out in short order. Now dual breathing over the top. There will be no further engagement. 4FC. Content to farm Merlini, you didn't get your wish, but finally Blomberg has been forced to skill Grievel's Greed. <laughs> this is the least selfish Alchemist player I've ever seen. I know. Sickening. Sickeningly selfless. <laughs> Enigma will have his BKB soon, and that is the plus side of an Alchemist trying to go for his mech. There's still some ways to deal with that, though. There's the Naga Net, mm -hmm. there's the Triant Overgrowth, and also there's just catching him before he pops BKB as well. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pain, I, I, I saw her with a voice on an Asobi mask, and now she's opted for Perseverance. I think that... This a, is an awkward build. Yeah, I think a, a, a Lincoln Sphere is pretty good here. It'll block Bat Ultimate, which is the main thing that you want to block. But again, she's not really like in the frame. Most of the time, she's just cleaning up or picks up easy kills. Maybe she could have gone for more. They've cornered Boomski. Wants to oh. TP out Ice Path. Well placed. Good anticipation for Ms. Ko. We'll catch Boomski out. He'll go down. And they will just back off. Easy kill. And just out of position. Yeah, I think they need to take down this tower as soon as possible, or at least put some pressure out on it. Again, Luna is one of those carries that can farm up very fast if they have been stacking Ancients. No st Ancient stack yet, and I don't even think any of the large camps has been stacked. They have Batrider who can take out Alchemist and Luna. All these are very excellent at taking out stacks, and I'm surprised they aren't abusing it a little bit more. Honestly, I, we were talking a lot about how 6116 was getting completely shut down, but he's done a nice job of limiting the damage. Jakira actually gets solo killed by Strangby bottom lane. Uh, he's farming up reasonably well, and I think that's really impressive considering how many ways there are to gank him. He's still squishy, uh, but hasn't been getting caught since the laning stage, so credit to him for some oh, pretty good play. Lane. There's your lasso top lane, the blink initiation on Nova. Living armor's there, keeping him in fighting shape for the time being. In comes your Luna. No vision for the loosened beam. It looks like, actually, it's, even though it's nighttime, it's Luna. Should be able to hit that, but... Maybe got fogged. Yeah, I think they potentially could have executed a little bit better. He blinked on the Queen of Pain, dragged her into the creeps. No chance for, or I mean, really low chance for Eclipse to hit him. I think they could have probably pulled her over here a little bit and then just Eclipse her away from the creep wave. I think that would almost been a guaranteed kill on the Queen of Pain. Yeah, just another Batrider gank not really panning off. Sure, he's 4 3 and 4. 9 to 12, your score 19 minutes in for FC trailing. But it does seem like the Batrider isn't quite having the presence we thought he would. And Kunkka has his drums. I like the I like the drums build. Usually Naga gets it, but Naga's actually very far and very close to her defusal blade. She is gonna start hurting. 
And now going for uh, a little bit of a push bottom lane. Has hit level 13. Has gotten over the hump. Now it's only a two minute cooldown on the oat. Smash is going to take this tower. In comes the Luna, underestimating the power of Naga. This hero is scary to fight 1v1. Still trying to fight. Is going to get netted for his trouble. I have no idea why he stuck around this long, but he's going to pay. 61 16. Maybe figured he was dead. Or some TP support. Where Where is his team? There's no TP on Krilly. Just going back for the four staff now, man. They had a TP on the Alchemist, which appears like it was online, and the Enigma. So, bit surprised there. Boomski, he's caught in the jungle. He does have a black hole, not using it yet. Now they lasso smash. And Krilly's saying, Come in, Boomski. Let's black hole this. Let's fight. He chooses to run. Now the boat comes through. A lot of miscues. This is not the smoothest fight you'll ever see. Ice Path as well will catch Krilly. Krilly on the Bat Rider gonna go down. These teams are just not on the same page with their teammates for the most part. Boat while Song is going off, Black Hole, Enigma refusing to use it, running away while the Batrider tries to drag a hero towards him. And now Strangby finds a kill in the back line, but will end up going down. In comes your Alchemist, Blomberg. Well, Living Armor making the difference here. He pops the mech, but he just can't seem to find a kill. Boomski buys back, airballs it, PGG's the Black Hole, and Masuku. Well, he's going to go down. Diving the tower will pay with his life. Who needs the black hole? Just the threat of it's enough. Nova cleaning up on the back lines. Prodigious trying to TP out. Lucent Beam won't be there. <sighs> Merlini, this is not Navi vs. LGD. This is... <laughs> <laughs> it is not. I have not seen a good black hole yet, and neither have I seen a good Batrider Lasso gang. These, these two heroes are extremely potent in these in this 10 to 20 20 minute area of the game and denial is just using their ultimates way better song of saturn to set up for the macro of fire and the ice bath queen of pain just cleaning up even though she is quite vulnerable to black hole to unstable concoction to bat rider ultimate this early but she's getting a lot of farm five zero and three on this queen of pain very close to his link if it's not coming or it is coming right now and this naga's in a lot of trouble netted mid 61 16 is gonna go down Poor Luna. Trying to, well, that one I'm going to blame the Luna for. Trying to solo push this tower with the tier one still up for denial. I don't really know what you expect, but it's not going to be good. And your team didn't have Black Hole, Batrider, just TP top. So frankly, 61-16 uh, just getting caught out. Should have been playing more defensively. Now they'll go in mid. They want Strangby, caught by an ice pad, lifted up and smacked down. To take a fall. And now denial starting to gain a lot of steam. For 4FC, you kept on talking about just... The way their lineup is supposed to work, Batrider finds pickoffs, they farm BKBs, and they take one kill or two, and then they push a tower. But instead, they're being forced to 5v5, and they're just not getting the upper hand here. Now a Torrent connects. Blomberg, he could be in trouble. Boat's going to come through. The Swedes are getting overwhelmed by some good old-fashioned Peruvian Dota. Denial are cruising. Now a net in the base. Smash will back off. Eats a Lucent Beam to the face, but keeps on running. They should be able to retreat. Oh, there's a Bat Rider ultimate, but it comes out on the Lincoln's Queen of Pain. Oh, you gotta check the inventory. That hurts. Hurts indeed. Naga Siren trying to pick off someone with Siren. There is the Diffusal Blade up on her, and that is very dangerous. This Naga Siren has Yasha, Diffusal Blade, and there are no BKBs on the Luna, and Alchemist just face boost mech. Super poor. Yeah, who's gonna do the damage for this team? That's the real problem for 4FC. They just, they have no damage. A Denial or Tanky? The Naga got working towards a Mantis cell, already 1300 HP. Mitsuko, with a simple urn, Magic Wand, is already sitting at 1200. The Jakiro and naturally tanky support. Nova, well, virtually unkillable with that Lincolns, it feels. At least you're not going to lasso him first. You got to use another spell or item to break that Lincoln. You need that Force Staff on the Bat Rider. Caught. He'll try to TP out, but Overgrowth's there. Come back to Earth, Bat Rider. Come back to Mama. <laughs> Queen of Pain will bring him down. And 4FC has been on a roll in these last 10 minutes. Looking at the difference in gold earn, it has taken a drastic swing and not in 4FC's favor. I didn't want to look at the gold graph, Merlini, but you've made me reveal my hand now. It's a 4K gold lead for Dial, as you said, a 5K experience lead. And more importantly, I think it's just the map control advantage. Yeah, it is huge. They can't farm anywhere right now. And again, not being able to stack really hurts the carrying potential of these heroes. 4FC middle lane trying to get a push going. Radiant's Still no BKB on the Luna. Not even co is close to the Ogre Club. I can't say they're fully out of this game because I think late game they actually have a bit of an edge based on their heroes. But they've got a, they've got a lot of farming. Wow, well, look at this no Luna. 61-16. What a woman. This Luna is way too manly for her own good or aggressive, whatever the case is. Boomski runs into Black Hole, then tries to TP out. It's just a comedy.